Okay, this is a uh, three and a half horse Briggs and Stratton. Uh, we're going to replace the carburetor diaphragm. If you watched my first video, I kind of went through the diagnosis and identification of the carburetor. So if you haven't gone through it or seen my first video, I would strongly suggest you do that first. Um, so let's get started. And we got to do this in 10 minutes because that's all YouTube gives us. So there's not going to be any cutting of the film. We're just going to make it happen. So you start with uh, just taking the air cleaner off. Nothing too too tough about that. Set that aside. Take your 3 8 Remove this bolt on the side. And take your half inch. Remove this bolt. Now, maybe I'm going to change this to first drain the gas. If you have that luxury, that would be great. If not, you can drain it once you get it off. Just got to be a little more careful. All right, now unhook this little tube. Either side, wherever it wants to come unhooked. Take that little elbow off. Now the only tricky part is taking the carburetor off itself. It just slides off. And just be careful and just turn the carburetor and unhook it. And don't touch any of your linkage. Just let it sit there. Okay? All right. Um, it's also uh, to your advantage to first clean the carburetor as best you can. Get all this crud off of there so you don't get any of it inside the carburetor. But that's, that's how long it takes to take the carburetor off. Pretty simple. Briggs and Stratton did a really nice job uh, of making things simple and easy to work on. So let's take this over to the bench and see if we can uh, get her fixed up. I'm just mounting it in here just to make it easy for us to, to work on. But if you do put it in a vise, don't clamp it down tight. Just, just barely snug it. Okay, this is the carburetor. They don't come any simpler than this. It's basically a Model T carburetor. Um, there's five screws. One, two, three, four, five screws. We're going to take those five screws out. I got a little pan. I just set them in there. All the screws are exactly the same, so you don't have to worry about, you know, which one goes where. It's pretty simple. So we're going to take these five screws out. Again, Briggs and Stratton made it real simple, kept all the screws the same size, there's not one longer than the other, so it's pretty easy. This is what you'll spend $100 on at a lawnmower shop to have your carburetor, quote, <coughs> rebuilt. There's only one spring under here you got to worry about, there's no check balls or anything, nothing's going to go flying, nothing's going to fall apart. Now you just very carefully just lift it up out of there, and the gasket will stick to the bottom. And what you're going to find, usually what you're going to find on the bottom of this gasket, you see how this corner here is all getting all like wrinkly? That's where your problem is right there. Sometimes they get wrinkly here, sometimes over here. This one isn't in real bad shape, but uh, it was causing some problems. So at this point, you want to just carefully peel this gasket off. The spring is going to be right under here. So just carefully peel that gasket off. Watch for that spring. It ain't going to fly away, but you just don't, if you drop it, it may be hard to find. Take that off, set it right down the way it came off. And there's your little spring right there. It, it, it won't even move, it'll just stay right there. Okay, now you want to dump out any residual gas. Take a little bit of carb cleaner. Just clean it off, you know, any, any of the, if there's any crud there. Okay, we're going to let that, just set that right in there for right now. Take your rag and just wipe down any of the mess that's around here. What I also like to do is I like to, if you're going to take this, if you're going to take this to the uh, store and uh, and match up the gasket, just put a little dot on it like that, so you know that that's the way it goes back on. Because this is going to be a two-piece gasket. They're actually stuck together. It's a two-piece gasket, so you want to remember how it went back together. So maybe even before you take it apart, put a little dot on it, and that way you know it went this way. You can see that right there. Okay. So now we know how it goes. We don't get mixed up. That's pretty well cleaned up. Now we're going to take our new part here. New gasket. Take it out. I'm going to match it up. Does it look the same? 
Yes, it does. And then the same with this one. So now you want to look at it and get it in the same orientation. Here, let me bring it over here so you can see it better. Same orientation. We're going to lay the other gasket on top. So it looks the same. We know that it goes, the dot right there goes down, or goes up in this case on that. So we take that. Let's see. Let's make sure we got it right. So it's going to go like this when it goes on the carburetor, like that. So we're going to set this right on here. Just, whoops, that ain't right. Let's, let's do it this way. See my orientation, I'm getting a little, a little mixed up here. This one came off this way. That goes on that way. Okay. Now we just carefully flip it back over. Set it back on there. Now hand start your screws to make sure your gasket is lined up. Just kind of wiggle those screws and it'll line the gasket right back up. Alrighty. Shouldn't have to force anything. It should just go right back together. Set it right back down on there. Nothing too difficult so far. Okay, just just barely snug the screws so you get them all snugged. Just whoop, whoop, whoop. snug that one. Snug that one. Snug that one. Okay, and then just give them just a little bit each. You know, you don't have to crank them down. This isn't holding the whole mower together. Just nice and snug. And there it is. One rebuilt carburetor. Now you can clean out your gas tank. Any, uh, you know, any old gas that's in there. I want to clear that out of there. We're going to just dump this out right now in this pan. I'll get rid of it later. You might want to do that before we rebuild it. I'm just doing it this way because of the fact that uh, I'm running out of time. I'm going to do this in 10 minutes. All right, we're ready to go back together. There's only one hole that it went in. So hook your linkage back up. It only fits in one hole. Slide the carburetor back on. There's just an O-ring there. You don't have to replace that O-ring. It's fine. Put your one bolt back in. Put your second bolt back in. Before you tighten it, put that on. Little elbow. Big bolt, tighten your little bolt, put your air cleaner back on, and you're done. Just that simple. So, since you're here, it's probably a good time to clean the air cleaner and change the oil as well. So, there you have it. That's all you got to do to rebuild one of these things. They're all the same. It's the Briggs and Stratton. They made it pretty simple. Good luck. I hope you can uh, save another mower. I hate to see him get thrown out. Thank you.